what happened to our next guest. He suffered a seizure during his skydive near Perth, but thankfully help, for, help was at hand. With the thumbs up, everyone's ready to jump, including Christopher Jones. His instructor, Sheldon McFarlane, has the camera and can see the drop zone below. Then it's time to fly. During the skydive, Sheldon asked Christopher to practice a turn. But then, nearly three kilometres up, his student goes out of view and out of control. Christopher's had a seizure. He's tumbling, and all the while, the ground is getting closer. A hand reaches out, but there's a mid-air collision, and Christopher is flung away. Sheldon darts over to save him as an altitude alarm goes off. Finally, he pulls the chute and his own as well. Christopher became conscious just over 900 metres above the ground. He landed safely. Blimey, what a oh. nightmare. <laughs> Uh, now, but in a couple of minutes, also, we're joined from our Perth studio by Christopher and his instructor, Sheldon. Good morning to you both. Christopher, were you aware you were falling out of control or you just completely blacked out? Uh, completely blacked out. I realised, um, yeah, the last thing I remember was starting that left-hand turn and, um, yeah, that's, and then waking up underneath the parachute at 3,000 feet, completely blacked out for those oh, um, minute or two that I was out for. My God, this yeah, could have been so different, this story. Sheldon, um, I mean, a lot of, <laughs> a fair bit of pressure on you here. Once you realised that, that Christopher was seizing, did your training kick in? Did you, did you, how did you keep yourself calm to try and help him? Um, I, I hadn't actually realised that he was actually having a seizure at the time. I wasn't quite sure what he was up to. Um, he exited the aeroplane, lost a little bit of control, regained it quickly, um, came stable, read his altimeter, and we were about to you know, carry on with the skydive, which I thought would be actually pretty easy. Um, midway through his first turn, he, um, he went fetal on me, went onto, his, went onto his back, started spinning. I wasn't quite sure what was going on. I thought he might be suffering from a little bit of sensory overload. So the, the idea that he was having a seizure just didn't enter my mind. Um, I watched him spinning around on his back for a while. I was hoping he'd correct it by himself and wouldn't have to do too much. But um, obviously time was getting away from us. And eventually I thought it'd be better to um, get down, catch him, stop him turning and see that he gets underneath a, an open parachute rather sooner than later. Gosh. Yeah, wow, good on you for doing it. I must admit, was there a time when you thought, oh, has he just lost control rather than blacked out? Because he wasn't spinning that much out of control, was he? Oh, it's on his back. Um, I thought he might be de-arching or trying something, something a little bit different to what we had trained him. So uh, right. I wasn't entirely sure what he was up to there. Um, the, fact, the fact that he was on his back for so long and he wasn't trying anything um, to correct the situation and he wasn't reading his altimeter um, really concerned me. That was the reason why right. I thought I'd better come down and, and, and stop the turn and open his parachute for him. Christopher, I find this really hard to watch, this vision. But having, um, having said all of that... Yeah. So, so Chris... um, having said all of that, um, Christopher is jumping with automatic activa activation devices inside his parachute system. So whether I got to him or not, um, there was never a chance that Chris was actually going to hit the ground without a parachute above his head. So. Okay. Oh, that's, that's um, worth done. So what, what's that device? Does that mean that your parachute will open no matter what you do, even if something does go wrong? Yeah. We've got two devices on the parachute system at, um, at, at WS Skydiving Academy. It's um, one attached to his main parachute, which is set to open between two and a half and 3,000 feet. And we've got a uh, cybernetic parachute release system, which is attached to his emergency parachute, um, which at 750 feet above the ground would actually open his emergency parachute or reserve. Um, yeah, so those, those fail safes are there. And um, thank goodness we didn't have to use them, but um, they, yeah. they do work. Mm. Wow, that's good to know. Um, Christopher, you're going to go back up? Will you ever do it again? Um, I, I'd, I'd like to go back up. Unfortunately, the solo career is over as of now, but um, I'd like to do a tandem again. Um, that would definitely be OK to do, so yeah. OK. Because you, 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 like you, you knew you had epilepsy, but you hadn't had a seizure for a while. So were you just thinking, this is just another experience in life and I'll be fine? 
Yeah, exactly, yeah. Um, I think that if I hold back too long, there's, um, I'd be holding back on everything, including yeah. driving and doing normal day, everyday stuff. Um, yeah, I hadn't had a seizure for four years. Um, I thought if it does happen, it does happen, but I didn't think there'd be any chance of it actually mm. happening. So, mm. yeah. Well, I'm glad it all worked out well. Mm. Uh, Sheldon, you're a good ad for your uh, skydiving place, I've got to tell you. Well done on that. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank uh, you very much. No worries. Thank you, guys. Sheldon gives you a enormous amount of comfort, I reckon. <laughs> I, I bet I'd never skydive, but I reckon if I did, I'd do it with him. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> cool, calm and collected. Knows what to do. Ahead this hour, here comes the bride and 130 bridesmaids. Meet the couple whose wedding broke a world record. And a likely romance, the sperm donor who fell in love with his daughter's mother. So why isn't he recognised as the legal father? Plus, turning back the clock, the doctor who says he has found a cure for ageing. Right now, time for the latest news. Bang on 8 o'clock, here's that. Thanks very much, Koshi. Three people have been found dead overnight at a home on Queensland.